Chapter 142, A Glimpse of the Past Shen Lang mentioned it by him, as if he just remembered that this was in the court. So Xian Xiao Dingfei visited. The eyes of the ministers immediately fell to the door of the main hall. This is the legendary Dingfei Shizu. Saved the emperor's life. And he also has the blood of Xiao Yan and the two clans, even if the Yan clan has fallen now, just by virtue of his identity as the eldest son of the Xiao family, he can set off a storm in the capital. It is really curious that he came back in the process of exterminating the heavenly sect so inadvertently this time. The criminal minister Xiao Dingfei is not here, long live my emperor. A loud voice, a bit of excitement in sorrow. Everyone's hearts were shocked. When I looked closely, I walked in a man with a long body and outstanding facial features, wearing a robe with stone blue brocade pressed gold thread, and there were really some similarities between his eyebrows and Xiao Yuan, the Duke of Dingguo who was standing in front of him, but there was a little more unruly temperament at the corners of his lips and eyes, and there was also some extravagance that could not be underestimated. As soon as he came in from the outside, Shen Lang's gaze was nailed to him. It almost took him from head to toe. In an instant, my heart was already overturned. It's just that he has been sitting on the throne for more than four years, not to mention that when the previous dynasty seized the throne, he had already gone through all kinds of ups and downs in the court, and his joy and anger were no longer easily visible, but he laughed twice with ha ha, and even the face that was originally a little gloomy because of a little sick was a little ruddy, and said, 20 years, 20 years, I never expected to see you again. This emperor can pretend. Xiao Dingfei knelt on the ground and only felt that his knees hurt, and no one dared to ask him to kneel when he wanted to be in the heavenly sect, and he came to this bullshit court to pay a bunch of rules. It's just that in the current situation, if a person doesn't act well, he even has to lose his head, and he only dares to slander twice, but his face is moved to get up. Tears are coming. More than ten years ago, when a beggar asked for food on the street, he did not lose his miserable ability at all, and people cried silently in the main hall, twenty years have passed, far away from the capital, trapped in the heavenly sect, unable to save the holy god from danger, unable to be loyal to the court, criminal ministers, criminal ministers. Xiao Yuan, the Duke of Dingguo, was standing next to him, it can be said that he watched Xiao Dingfei come back all the way, but he felt like a stranger with him, and he had no contact. Who expected him to go to the temple and worship like this? For a moment, he was stunned. Shen Lang was still calmer, his eyes flickered slightly, and he looked very puzzled, good and dignified, how can you call yourself a criminal minister? Xiao Dingfei had already memorized the words, and opened his mouth and said, when King Pingnan invaded the capital, the criminal ministers and the saints were both young, how could they dare to let the saints get into danger? When I went to die, I never thought I would survive. When the dog thief of King Pingnan saw me, he immediately sent someone to pull the eunuch in the palace to identify him. The minister has been a saint since he was a child, and most of the eunuchs in the palace recognize him. It's just like the queen mother at that time, no, now it's time to call the queen mother, as the queen mother expected, although the eunuch recognized me, he also knew who was orthodox in Tianhuang. According to the queen's explanation, before the eunuch could speak, he called himself lonely and scolded the other party. The eunuch really didn't dare to reveal my identity, and King Pingnan thought that I was the crown prince. There are not many people in the government and the opposition who know what happened back then. Without him, when the army of King Pingnan entered Beijing 20 years ago, he first killed the Manchu dynasty civil and military, and few people survived at all. The officials who were promoted later were naturally much younger than before. If it weren't for this, it would be like a person in danger among the civil servants, no matter how great the merit is, he would not be able to sit in the position of prince and young master, one of the three orphans in the imperial court. Listening to Xiao Dingfei's narrative at this moment, 
I couldn't help but be shocked. Only then did I understand that it turned out that the things of the year were thanks to the Empress Dowager who was in charge, had a strange plan, and dared to use Li Daidao's stiff plan to save the life of the saint. Xiao Dingfei was sarcastic in his heart, but he really wiped a handful of tears on his face, and continued, The King of Pingnan is a chaotic minister and thief, and he hates the Emperor to the extreme. I asked them to fulfill their promise and release the 300 boys. King Pingnan laughed at that time, and said that the eldest husband was hard to chase after him, and then, and then. When I said this, I couldn't go on. The thin beads hanging down from the twelve crowns covered Shen Lang's face with a faint shadow, making it difficult for others to spy on his complexion, so he could only ask, what? Xiao Dingfei suddenly knelt back on the ground, and actually cried, then I killed everyone. Three hundred children, all the bodies were thrown down from the gatehouse and piled up outside the palace gate. The Jinluan Hall was quiet when it ascended. No one can imagine what a miserable situation it must be. Xiao Yuan's face also became gloomy. Xie Wei stood quietly in front of him, his eyes drooping, and his eyelashes were lowered, blocking the changes under his eyes. Shen Lang sighed, this is my fault, the fault of the imperial court. As soon as these words came out, the civil and military forces of the Manchu dynasty trembled, but no one dared to answer. Only Xiao Dingfei's voice kept coming. He didn't get up, he still knelt down and said, when the criminal saw it, he also wanted to rush out to stop it, but he was a knife and I was a fish, and he really had no power to resist. When the king of Pingnan saw that I was not honest, he had me imprisoned. Soon after, reinforcements from two large battalions in Tongzhou and Fengtai came to counter-attack the capital to rescue them. The king of Pingnan wanted to use me as a threat and tied me to the front of the two armies, but the reinforcements knew that the saint was safe and sound at that time, and they did not make a mistake. Only then did the king of Pingnan know that he had a plan, and in a fit of rage, he raised his sword and wanted to kill me. Wan Ziyuzi, who taught me that day, slapped me twice and asked me sharply who it was. The criminal minister was born in the family of the prince, and since he knew that the thief was gone, when he was going to die, he said that my name was Xiao Dingfei. Only then did King Pingnan and Wan Ziyuzi know the identity of the guilty minister. The criminal minister thought that he would definitely die, but he never thought that these two thieves would not die, and the dog jumped under the wall and tied the minister to the city gate tower. As soon as the word Grandpa Guo came out, everyone's hearts jumped. Is there a son in the world who is not called Lao Tzu, but is so unfamiliar with the truth that he is called Grandpa Guo? Even Shen Lang had always been silent, and he couldn't help squinting slightly. Xiao Yuan didn't pay attention, and he didn't know if it was because of Xiao Dingfei's words that he thought of the scene back then, and his face was faintly iron blue, which was extremely embarrassing. Xie Wei remained unmoved. Gu Chun Feng, who was also in the Wenchen column, wrinkled his brows and continued, since the king of Pingnan and Wan Ziyuzi know the identity of the prince, they must be thieves again, and they want to threaten the grandfather of the country with the prince. Xiao Dingfei glanced at him. Seeing that it was a bad old man, he didn't really care, but when he saw that the position of the station was a little earlier than Xie Wei, he knew that it was probably an old fox, so he said respectfully, Your lord, you guessed right, those two thieves fought this idea. Although the criminal minister was young at that time, he also knew the severity, and he did not dare to put the army of reinforcements in a dilemma. When the king of Pingnan called for battle, he whipped and scolded the guilty minister, and the minister gritted his teeth and did not dare to cry for half a voice. That's a child under seven years old. Brocade clothes and jade food, the pride of the sky. The two armies were whipped and humiliated in front of the battle, but they were able to grit their teeth and remain silent, what kind of will and perseverance should they have? The officials of the government and the opposition are also insightful, and when they heard Xiao Dingfei's words, imagining the scene at that time, 
they couldn't help but feel a little embarrassed and pity. Shen Lang's eyes were on Xiao Yuan. Twenty years have passed. Xiao Yuan couldn't help but think about it, and said astringently, when the accident happened, the minister was not in the palace, and when he led the army to aid the capital, he did confront the two armies of the king of Pingnan under the city wall. The other party did catch a child from a distance and claimed to be the minister's sister-in-law, but he couldn't see it clearly from a distance. One is that the child did not make any sound, did not cry or make trouble, and the second was that the minister did his best and died, so he was really a minister's child, and he couldn't care about it at that time. It was a moment of hesitation, ignoring it, and went straight into the city, wanting to capture the two thieves alive, but I didn't want the two to slip away too quickly with oil on the solace of their feet, and finally let them run away. In this way, the details of the events of that year are all right. It's just that Shen Lang is still a little unsure. The glance of the child who was studying with him when he was leaving was like a ruin exposed when the water surface descended, slowly appeared in his already vague memory, overlapping with Xiao Dingfei's eyes below at this moment, and gradually becoming clearer. Could it be that he misunderstood? Xiao Dingfei is indeed a loyal minister, when he went for him, he didn't have any resentment, and the Queen Mother prevented him from leaving Mrs. Yan as a hostage in the palace at that time, which was really unfounded. Shen Lang put his hand on the armrest of the two dragons playing with pearls made of pure gold, and said slowly, but when the city was broken later, I didn't find you. At that time, Grandpa Guo was also very worried about you, but in the frozen corpse pile in front of the palace gate, only your clothes and jade pendants were found at that time. They didn't kill you. Xiao Dingfei said, this is the minister's crime. He kowtowed to the ground again, when the minister gritted his teeth and was silent, the king of Pingnan was already furious and wanted to take the minister's life. The thief of the heavenly sect, Wan Ziyuzi, said that it is of great use to stay in the lives of the ministers. The minister wanted his life at that time, but N.A. Wan Ziyuzi saw the opportunity too quickly, and after stopping the minister, he tied up and took him all the way out of the capital, fled to Jiangnan, and imprisoned him. When the ministers begged for death, they wanted to know what their intentions were, and after staying up for a while, they pretended to obey. After many years of winning the trust of the other party, I overheard that Wan Ziyuzi, the old thief, had left his ministers alive and wanted to subdue his subordinates, so that he would one day find an opportunity to make the ministers return to the capital and restore their identity, so that they could justifiably take charge of the troops of the two large battalions in Fengtai and Tongzhou and be their puppets. And the death of the minister will definitely bring distrust between Xiao Yan and the two clans, Mrs. Yan is the biological mother of the minister, and Yan Mu is the uncle of the minister. The civil and military forces of the Manchu dynasty were all in their hearts, and when they heard this, they all thought of the previous case of the secret anti-thief case of the Yanji Marquis Mansion. At that time, it was rumored that he had found letters with the King of Pingnan, Tianjiao and other anti-party parties. One of the letters said that Ding Fei Shiza was still alive at that time. When everyone was discussing in the South study, they thought that this was the bait that the heavenly sect deliberately used to lure the Yanji Ho Mansion, but they didn't expect it to be true. Thinking back to the Ho Mansion case, all of a sudden, the unreasonableness of the front and back became transparent. Suddenly, someone sighed, alas, the chaotic ministers and thieves are really hateful, the depth of the calculations, and the thickness of the plots are really outrageous. It's just that in the past, the Yanji Marquis Mansion was too confused, and he shouldn't have anything to do with these people anyway. Even if the prince was gone, he was also loyal. Ho Fu acted like this, did he dare to have a grudge against the saint? Xie Wei's fingers hanging by his side clenched quietly. An evil aura surged and rushed in his chest, but he was locked up to death, and he couldn't find an outlet for catharsis, but instead knocked his skin full of bloody wounds. Xiao Dingfei knelt on the ground, and as far as his eye could see, 
he could only see Xie Wei's hanging sleeves and corners. But even if he couldn't see his expression, when he heard a minister say this, he couldn't help but shudder, glanced at this person, and drew a cross directly on this person's head in his heart, all as if he was a dead man. Shen Lang asked again, then you are actually in Tongzhou this time. Xiao Dingfei said, after hearing that Gong Gai I Chen was arrested by the imperial court, I was afraid that he would not be able to stand the torture and tell many secrets of the heavenly sect, so he sent heavy soldiers to rob the prison. And if Gong Gai I Chen is rescued, he can be able to plan the matter of sending the ministers back to the capital, so he will send the ministers to go together. This was just a mistake, by chance, he was rescued by this Mr. Xia, and he was able to get out of the heavenly sect, and he came alive to meet the saint and explain the original situation. Everyone listened, but they didn't think there was anything wrong. Shen Lang also sighed, I see. Only Zhang Sha, who was standing under his head, lifted his eyes, and asked coldly, if it is really as the prince said, when the prince was in Tongzhou, he knew that there were people from the court among the people who returned from the prison, and he should be very happy. Why did he go against the heavenly sect and expose Zhang Mao as a person ambushed by the imperial court when he was in danger?